compass in the eye of the trading storm. Trading can be such a stressful activity, and as a trader you may constantly feel the pressure to perform. If you don't perform, you don't put profits in your trading account. And if you don't put profits into your trading account, well, that leads to a whole lot of other things. If you take short-term trades during an especially hectic, chaotic and messy day, it can sometimes seem quite overwhelming. Your emotions can surge positive one instant and go south the next. When everything seems to be happening at once, it can be quite difficult to have a handle on your trading emotions. Even if you do have your trading plan all written down in simple clear steps, your emotions may overwhelm your ability to actually execute it. Have you ever experienced moments like these? Link between mind and body. Having a state of mental calm and peace is crucial for traders. It's even more important for short-term trading like day trading. Medical science and psychology have shown that there is a link between the mind and body, where what goes on in the mind can easily affect what goes on in the body and vice versa. Without a state of mental calm, emotions can run wild. And when they do, wild emotions can severely impact your trading results. For example, if your emotions are surging wildly, when your trade shows some profit you may be tempted to close it out prematurely. Even if your trading plan tells you to wait, seeing that little bit of money in your account can be so overwhelmingly tempting. The need for instant gratification for little successes can cause you to push that button to close out the trade. Even though your rational mind tells you to wait, wild emotions can cause you to take that sure bet rather than letting profits run. At the same time, if trades move into negative territory temporarily, you can go into overwhelming panic that everything's going wrong. It doesn't really make that much difference even if you know that you've maintained your portfolio risk on this particular trade. Emotions don't necessarily make logical sense. Calming yourself. So how do you calm yourself down when you find yourself being emotionally overwhelmed? Having your stop losses and profit targets already entered into your trading platform can help you some. Reviewing your trading plan helps to remind you of the reasons why you are trading this particular setup and what to expect from a trade like this. However, if you continue to watch whatever it is that's causing you to panic in the first place, it's highly unlikely you'll reach a state of calm. It's like watching a horror movie that really scares you. The more you watch it, the more terrified you feel. Even if you tell yourself it's only a movie, by continuing to watch it you only continue to perpetuate your emotionally terrified state. Some of the things that you can do are Everything that can help you to improve your state of mind while training will prove useful to you in the long run. While not everything may work, here are some ideas to create the state of inner calm. You can create a peaceful and harmonious trading environment by playing soothing music in the background, or simplifying your trading desk to whatever is necessary and remove all other unnecessary elements during your trading hours. Having too many elements on your trading desk causes your attention to waver to possibly conflicting signals which aren't relevant to your current trade setup. As a result, your cluttered desktop creates a cluttered mind. Another way is to do something that distracts your mind from the market movements. You could try repeating certain sentences to bring on a state of calm through meditation. Sentences like allow the trading system to work, everything's going to work out fine or some other sentence that usually puts you into a calmer state. The main idea is to get your mind away from what's causing you emotional distress and calming your body down. Get that racing heart to slow down, and your mind to stop chasing imaginary shadows. You can even perform alternate activities, like stretching, juggling, playing the guitar. Anything that helps you to distract yourself and calm yourself down. Do things that allow you to reach that inner place inside where you are in the zone. When you are in the zone it's easier for you to get with the flow. Trading requires a calm, optimum mental state. Many times, markets are going to do what they are going to do anyway, and the best thing you can't possibly do is to stick to your trading plan. 
When you allow stress to get to you, it can wear you down not only mentally but physically as well. When you feel stressed, get away from your trading desk. Calm yourself down. In the long run, if you continue being stressed, not only does your mental state suffer, your equity suffers, but your physical body suffers as well. And when that happens, it gets harder to trade and do what you need to do. Does it make sense to stay calm and detached from market movements? If you ask me, I'll say yes it does. It helps when you return to a meditative state where you can become focused, clear and calm. It helps when you can't look at the markets with a cool objective eye. Every little thing that you do can help you become a better trader, even something as simple as playing soothing music in the background while you trade.